Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is so cool. Okay, y'all. It's a new day. Oh my. <sighs> this is the best thing ever. What? Okay, y'all. It's a new day. It's a new unboxing, and this one is really heavy. After all of that with the live, <laughs> apparently uploading larger files to Instagram is quite the mission, so I figure we deserve a good unboxing today <laughs> after all of that. So let's open up this one because I know what it is, and I cannot wait to see it in person. Oh my god, I am so excited. <laughs> I am genuinely so excited to open this. I actually saw this posted on Shop Thing Live, who I'll tag here, who is a really cool Instagram shop. When I saw them post it, I went straight away to buy it, but somebody beat me to it, and there was only one, and I was so upset, but I loved it so much. I, like, went on a hunt on the internet to find it, and I found one. So let's get into it. I am, like, beyond excited. Okay, let's see really really don't care what's anything inside so this is on a few different places shop thing live found one in canada which is where they're based and it's so cool i cannot believe i have never seen it before so anyways i went on a hunt which i found it a few different places but the best option believe it or not so funny i found it on walmart you heard me, walmart.com, which if you don't know is a marketplace actually. And so I'm sure that it was selling from a, like a third party reseller. So I'll link it again to if they have any left, but this is, a little something luxury. <gasps> Look at it. <gasps> Oh my gosh, <laughs> this is so cool. So as you can see, it is a large Chanel coffee table book. It says Culture Chanel, the woman who reads with the little Chanel logo. And I just loved how classy this was. It is literally massive. I wonder if I can show you. Here's like a normal piece of paper. Look how big it is. <laughs> So big. Oh my gosh. I am so excited to open the pages. So obviously Chanel does, well, they probably don't, but in general, there are a lot of Chanel coffee table books that you can get. But I loved how like low key, but yet like just super classy this is, mostly because I love reading. And well, I don't actually read physical books anymore. I mostly do audiobooks. They're kind of my lifeline and I do a lot of audiobooks. So I just thought that was like so me and so much fun. Let's look at the the binder. Oh, look at it. Has a little emblem. Oh, to the woman who reads Culture Chanel on the bind as well. And it was just neutral enough. So yeah, I just thought I would go for it because I really wanted to see it in person. I'm a little worried because this looks like a mark and I'm going to be really upset if that's a mark. Oh, I hope that's going to come out. Let's get this plastic off and see. Okay. I'm going to get this off and then I'll tell you guys the price I got it for and everything. I was just looking at the paperwork and it is from a third party. It's such a pretty color beige too. <gasps> oh, I cannot believe I have, I don't have one of these. Like I literally do not have a really large book like this. I have a medium size that one of my good friends got me that I absolutely love. That's on the Louis Vuitton trunk right now. I actually did an unboxing on it. Whoa, and it's like soft, it feels nice. Oh my gosh, moment of truth. Yeah, that is definitely a streak all the way across it. You know what I might try? I might try an eraser. There's a close up so you can see what I'm talking about. I've heard that erasers can take care of this kind of stuff. I'm gonna try it. Wow, where is an eraser when you need one? <laughs> okay, I found a few erasers here. I'm really hoping that works. I'm gonna go with the white one first since the other one is, wow. It's not even touching it. And all right, let's go with the other one. Maybe. That's so upsetting. 
Okay, so in a desperate attempt to not send it back and have to go through that hassle, I'm gonna use a makeup wipe on it. I know that's risky, <laughs> but here we are. I feel like it's lightning a little bit. So in a third attempt, we're going <laughs> magic eraser because this can do anything. Oh my gosh, after literally an eraser, a makeup wipe, and a magic eraser, it's only faintly still there, but you can't really see it. That was really stubborn though, that was not gonna come out. I'm so glad I got it to this point, at least, because I did not want to have to hassle with taking that back. That would have been so annoying. Okay, who is finally ready to open it? So, per the title, A Woman Who Reads, it is mostly words, and I'm not not sure. Oh, look. I think it's all in French, which kind of just makes it epic. Oh my gosh. Wow, the pages are so thick. It is in French. So I am learning French, surely but slowly. So I thought, well, surely but slowly, slowly but surely. So I thought this would might be kind of nice to kind of practice my French and try to read as I get better. Oh, look. So, oh, the pages change. Interesting. Wow. It's like pictures of letters and different books. Oh, this is fun to look through. Wow. Oh, wow. And it gets really in depth here. Let's do some. Wow. Look at that print. It's just so pretty. Wow. Look at that. Oh, and it flips back and forth between the types of pages. This, this is the same type that it was in the beginning. Okay, so I just spent a good amount of time going through every single page in this book, and it's very cool. The concept behind it is that Gabrielle Chanel was friends with so many of like the greatest poets of that time, and writers, and all of these, you know, playwrights, etc. And she spent a great a deal of time reading as well. And so someone has kind of gone through and and collected all kinds of poems and just like all kinds of different articles as you can see and taken pictures of them that had something to do with maybe developing uh, Gabrielle Chanel as she grew up to create the brand one day. So it's really cool there's some gorgeous photos and just like a really cool piece of literature probably more than it is a fashion book or history of literature I should say uh, probably more. So yeah very very cool this on top is like a leather and it's very plush like you can feel kind of it bounce under your hand so it's really really nice but if you put something like really hard on top of it it probably would leave an indent because it's that that like soft kind of leather but yeah really really cool book and for the price it does retail for a few different price points i've seen but on this it says 300 us dollars i know i've seen it for 500 and I got it for a hundred dollars on the Walmart website. I think there was only a few left, but I just found some in stock on Amazon for like 120. So I will leave a link in case you're interested. And now let's go put it on the Louis Vuitton trunk coffee table and see how it looks. Look how cool that is. I love it. It's exactly what I was looking for. It has neutral colors. It's low key, but still says Chanel in just like a cool way very very neat thank you all so much for watching if you liked it please like this video subscribe and click the bell so you're notified because i upload new unboxing videos every single day